Hi guys, thanks for watching. I got a request for a video on physique posing, men's physique posing. So I have, I've competed twice in physique and ever since I, up until the point I decided to switch to classic physique, I'd been practicing my physique posing, you know, every time I would step out of the shower, step in the shower, every time I would get a mirror in front of me. So I have a lot of personal experience with um, physique posing. So, I mean, I'm just going to give you kind of like an intro to it and give you a couple tips and what I do for it. So, um, right off the bat, I want to say I'm not as lean as I usually am for a competition or even a photo shoot or a video like this with my shirt off. So, um, yeah, um, let me just get straight into it. So, for physique, you wear board shorts. Board shorts like this, they um, you don't want to go too low, don't want to show your butt too much, and um, I think they look better personally if they cover the knees, because um, you know your knees aren't showing too much of your legs. So if people see your knees, um, it looks small. They're gonna assume you don't even lift, but they hide this. <laughs> that is if you train legs. So. Board shorts, these are a little bit long. I wouldn't wear long shorts like this for um, competition, but they fit my hips right now since I'm bulking. But anyways, usually they'll have you walk out. Every time I've competed, I've walked out from the left side. So you know, just give away when you walk out, hit a pose. Usually you'll walk out a little bit closer then hit a pose. You never, well, usually don't want to hit a straight up pose like this. It just doesn't look too good. Um, a lot of physique guys, most of them, should face their hips away and then twist their upper body. It makes the waist look smaller and the shoulders will look wider when the waist looks smaller. It's hard to talk and pose, but blow out the air. Make that waist nice and sm uh, small, flex the abs, get the shoulders as wide as you can. So you got to work with it to find your best side. This is not my best side. Um, my shoulders, uh, my right medial delt is not as big as my left one. So it just makes my side, my arm look weird. But I'll notice that this, this waist is smaller on this side and this side. So you gotta kinda, you gotta see which side is better for you um, given everything. But this is my good side. So anyways, walk out, hit a pose, walk closer, and then um, you do want to hit both sides. Um, you don't want to only hit one side, hit a back shot, and then go back to that same side. Because they, the judges will know that you're hiding something. And then you're going to do um, quarter turns anyway. So you're going to have to show this side. But that's okay. Um, when I bring my arm up like this, it looks a little bit better. Anyways, just kind of play around with, um, with your side. In your posing, you still can hit this side a lot, like three or four times in your posing, and maybe only get away with one, one of uh, this side. And that's okay, just kind of play to play with it. Um, and yeah, so I'll give you a little posing routine. Example. You wanna smile the entire time. They say it's like a sports model look, so you want to present your best self, um, project your personality into your posing. wave to the judges, 
and walk off. So, yeah, you got to kind of play around with um, your posing, see which side works better for you, um, acknowledge your weak points and work on them in your off season to bring them up. Like right now, I'm hitting my right lateral or medial head of my shoulders to bring it up to match this one. Eventually, I want to hit the same sides, the same poses on each side to bring out that symmetry. That's what the judges look for is symmetry. So you want to make the right side and left side look as similar as you can in your off season. You got to really pay attention to the right and left sides of your body. Um, really um, be constructive with your off season, your building. Um, so biggest thing with posing is the hips. They have to be posing away from the, the judges. Um, that'll make your, your waist look a lot smaller which is a capitalized point in uh, physique posing, is having a small waist and wide shoulders. Um, I don't really have wide shoulders, but that is why I'm moving to classic physique. I feel like it's a better fit for my build. Hips away. Really flex, squeeze the abs together. It helps if you blow all your air out. That'll help your waist get smaller. And then square up your shoulders. Just kind of play around with it. Find what works for your body. That's ultimately what, um, what'll be most benefit to you. So you'll come out, hit a side pose, well, a front pose kinda. They call it three quarter turn. Hit a side. You can either switch over to the other side with a good transition, or you could go straight, um, straight into a back pose. And then you'll go straight into, um, you go to that same side, or you can even um, go on to your other side So just kind of play around with it, see what works better. Um, tips on the back pose. You want to bring your lats out as hot, far as you can. And you actually want to lean back. You want to bring your shoulders um, closer to the judges because they're going to be they're going to be below you in the stage. So um, if you just kind of square up like this it's not going to look as good for judges who are um, down there. The angle's just not too good. So you want to bring your shoulders closer to them so that your waist will get farther away and look even smaller. Really bring out that V taper, which is um, reference to the waist to shoulders. It'll create a V, which is um, big criteria for the physique category especially now that Jeremy Buendia has won the Olympia for the second time in a row. Um, he has a perfect V taper, just what the judges are looking for. So lean back when you're doing the back pose. And then hold your poses, every single one of them for maybe like two seconds. One, two, then go on to the next one. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Um, yeah, so that's just an example of a posing routine. Um, so when you first go out, when you first your division, the physique division first goes out, they're going to each do individual posing like I just did, and then they'll bring you out, um, they'll do call outs, so the first call outs will be either five or six people that they feel deserve the top five or six places, and then they'll do comparisons. So the comparisons will typically, you'll start out um, with your best side, so just come out like this with your with your good side showing. They'll tell you to do um, face the curtains, 
there's going to be curtains back here. So you're going to, um, once I say face the curtains, turn around, hit a back pose. Um, not really a pose, just a back, um, back shot. Spread out the lats as wide as you can. You want to be as wide as you can when you go on that stage. And even stick your butt out a little bit. That'll make your waist look smaller. And don't forget to lean back. Then they'll say, um, face the judges again. And um, a lot more recently, they've been saying, um, instead of, you know, having your hips face the other way, um, or that way, they want you to put both feet on the ground, face forward, and then, um, yeah, just bring out your lats as much as you can. This is where they really compete you to the other, um, or uh, compare you to the other um, competitors. You can't really hide your um, weak points. If your waist is wide, um, they're going to see this. So, uh, face the judges. Blow all the air out that you can. Make that waist as tight as you can. And bring your shoulders out as wide as you can. It'll even help if you lean over a little bit. Stick your butt out. It'll bring your waist away from the judges, make it look smaller, and bring your shoulders closer to the judges, make them look wider and bigger. So, um, yeah, then they'll have people switch around. You're going to do that same deal. Um, they'll have people switch. The closer to the middle you are, the higher you place. Um, yeah, then they'll have you do the same thing. The comparisons, face the curtains back pose, and then face forward, both feet on the ground. Um, and, yeah, if they don't do that, then just keep hitting your best pose. Bring the hips to the side, make the waist look small, square up your shoulders. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the introduction to physique posing. I know it's long, but it's some good info if you're, um, if you're wanting to compete, if you're wanting to take this next step. Um, building up that extra motivation other than just going to the gym, putting your hard work on stage for everyone to see, and, you know, just being your best self. So thank you guys for watching. Um, like this video if you thought this was helpful. Um, and if you watched the whole thing, comment <laughs> um, what you would have liked to me to cover. And I'll try to do another one of these. But subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Be on the lookout for my next videos, and I'll see you guys next time.